Hey guys, Matt Quest here for another product review, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Felix 3.0 3D printer. Now, out of the box, I have a few photos of when I was unpackaging this. It comes really nice and tightly packaged up. Um, it comes with a really nice pair of tweezers. It also comes with a cord so you can tether it to your laptop. A few things you're going to need that it doesn't come with is a hex key, a wrench, and a micro SD card if you want to print untethered. Now you can control the entire printer through the LCD screen. It has a little turn dial here that you can use and then to make your selection you just press it in. I do find it to be a little bit touchy so sometimes when I'm making a selection I actually miss what I'm selecting. Felix does provide a flow chart for using the LCD screen. I prefer to use my laptop to set up the filament and then I'll use the LCD screen to preheat from PLA and then print from the micro SD card. Now the spooling systems on the Felix is a little bit different. They have a horizontal spooling system that's 3D printed that comes with the printer. And you can snap this right on the back. If you don't like that or if you have a reel that won't fit this system, they actually provide a 3D file on their website for an arm that'll snap right into the side. Now the dust filter on this unit is an interesting feature right here. They provide a 3D printed piece with a little felt piece that goes in the bottom that actually cleans the dust off the filament while you're printing. Now the extruder head on this system has a 3D printed cover. It's really simple. There's one screw to take it apart. I really like the tension system on it because you can actually control how much tension you put on the filament. To use it, there's a little hex screw on top here and by turning it counterclockwise you actually put more tension on the filament now the build plate on this printer is massive. It has really nice even heat distribution throughout the entire plate and it comes standard with a one piece uh, Kapton tape and I've never had a problem with a print not sticking on this. When you're calibrating your z-axis or your bed to the end of the hot end right here you're going to be using this little guy over here and to do your rough adjustment you're going to slide this up and down and in order to do that you're going to need a hex screw and you're going to need to unscrew this and physically move it up and down to try and get it close and then they have this little twist screw right here where you can actually turn it with your finger to adjust the fine adjustment now it's a little it's a little hard to get into this screw when your bed is up towards your hot end so you're actually going to have to move it up and down to adjust the rough adjustment and I saw a do-it-yourself version on Thingiverse that I might try and download that looks a little easier to use. So my overall impression of this printer is it's quiet, it's got a really big build platform, I really like that about this printer. It has a solid construction for faster speeds and I really like the fact that it's upgradable so when a new version comes out um, on Felix's website you can just go and buy an upgrade kit instead of buying an entire new printer so it's future proof and I really like that about this printer so if I wanted the dual extruder I can just buy a kit and install it myself that's really nice also it's portable it's got the handle on top I would recommend recalibrating the z-axis after uh, moving it around because it might get jiggled a little bit also, you can print untethered with an SD card, which is really nice. And really the only issue I've found with this printer is sometimes the software backs up a little bit. So I'm constantly having to hit the reset button in the back near the power. And, you know, it's really not a huge issue. Um, and also, I wish it came with a hex key and a micro SD card. Just little things, though. So I think, you know, for what this printer gives you in value and quality, it's a really great printer to have. Hey.